<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Good old black screen. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to a brand new stream. Where, man, today we're diving into freaking SpongeBob SquarePants. Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated. This is the remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom that came out, I believe, in 2003. And I just think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So, there you go. Now you guys, ah. There you go. Here we go. But like any Spongebob, we got to start off like this. Sing along, ladies and gentlemen. And he uses his freaking nose as a flute. That's amazing. Let me get my chat up really quick. And there you go. No crap, where's the game? There it is. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, this is the remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I'm going into this full nostalgia because... I grew up with SpongeBob a little bit, like especially the classic, the early episodes. I haven't seen any of the new stuff in probably in the last ten or fifteen years, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I think in some capacity, most of us here, either watching live or watching on YouTube, have seen some aspect of the Yellow Sponge and his friends. So, with this remake, uh. I believe they added some new stuff, like, and how the, obviously, like, it's an updated version of everything. The animation's a little bit different. They added a multiplayer, I guess, I think it's more so of, like, a horde battle mode. You can uh, have seven characters, bat, you know, battle a bunch of the enemies in the game. It's, it could be local couch co-op. It can do online. So, I think it'll be fun for a lot of people. But we're not going to look into that today. We're going to be going to the uh, single-player game. Uh, I'm going to just check everything here really quick. So, I know, like, the big, if you want to say, gripe the game has, like, the colors may be oversaturated. I'm going to keep it for default for right now, the gamma correction. Um, and then we'll see if we can change it later on. Uh, leave that alone. That's fine. Subtitles, definitely. All right. So, yeah, I played just a little bit last night just to make sure everything's all good, but... Let's go ahead and uh, get this going, shall we? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! You gotta love the humor already. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap... Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Why? Oh, no, Why even make no, that setting? No. I mean, he's the idiot for having a don't obey option. Like, what? what is the purpose that serves? Another 
good day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnasser, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, Damn it, I Patrick. That tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. Patrick is the next melding. Patrick is by far my favorite character. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with, robots, gonna play with Wow! Uh Gary, did you do that? Your bikini bottom stinks? Wow. Okay. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Mm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Alrighty, so we gotta explore the kitchen, explore the bedroom, explore the attic, and explore the closet. I mean, hey, this game, look at this game already. Look at this sponge, look at him move. Alright, oh, nice double jump. Nice little attack there. Oh, damn. Goes up. Got a butt butt pound. Oh, you can like sneak. Either you hold the con if you like only press the or move the analog stick very slightly, or if you hold down the trigger, he'll do that. What else do we got here? We also have our HUD. We have underpants. Uh spatulas up there. Something on the top right. Socks on the bottom right. Okay, then. And, oh, this is what happens when we push pause. Oh, holy crap! Oh, you know what? I bet you five bucks is probably all the places we can go to in the game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really much of a spoiler at all. I mean, considering... <coughs> excuse me. If we have any... Recollection of the SpongeBob series. We've know we know all these places already, so that's all good. Um, yeah, it's actually quite a few places to go to. You need more shiny objects to go to this area. So the things on the top right are shiny objects. All right, so I feel like this might be like a little bit of a collectathon. Breaking news: Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. I loved that fish broadcaster. Funny enough, it's the same voice actor who uh, does Plankton. Oh, 
Oh wait. Thought I saw something there. Oh no, just that. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! Jeez, calm down, SpongeBob. Maybe I should read these like the news anchor. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded with to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors of shiny objects. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find and are in dangerous places. Alright then. So yeah. Different uh, colored shiny objects, different values. So, look at that, we're already up to 40. Oh, I can tell I'm going to be spending a lot of my time just going around looking for objects. So I apologize ahead of time. A note from Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Well, that's just a little disgusting. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Okay, that is not Clancy Brown, but that's okay. He probably just wasn't free. Wow, a promotion! That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. So he wants the shiny objects. Okay. Oh, he wasn't in the original game? So, so what I'm wondering is, did they re-record these lines or is it all just kind of ported over from the original game? Because that I'm not entirely sure of. Look at these, like, pictures that he has in his room. Or, like, for that of his house. They're all, like, kind of iconic scenes throughout the series. Wow. SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing the right trigger. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects he has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas he's collected. The number in the lower right is how many Patrick's lost socks he's found. Okay. And finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Because apparently three is okay. But he has those on at the same time? I mean, geez, dude. So it's just pour it over. Okay. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! I didn't even realize it sounds a little bit different uh, nowadays, but all right. <laughs> I could make a joke about that, but whatever. Oh, it's where he got the, yeah. His hair. I think he also, like, had, like, those shoes, whatever, that made him taller. God, okay. Sandy! Oh. His good old Ben. What can I read here? Uh, he may jump by pressing A and he can do it again while in midair. He'll cause him to do double jump for extra height. But you can only double jump once per jump. Okay, yeah. Oh, sparkly! Sparkly indeed. Alright. Uh, in our change room? Or just to change the room? Whoa! You know, I never realized this. This is absolutely huge to have in his house. Like, damn, dude. Press X and SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. He can use the bubble spin to smash open tiki's or push bottom, uh, excuse me, buttons on walls or defeat most robots. He may also use bubble spin in midair to hit things that are higher up. So I believe most of the attacks we can do in midair, that's new. I think in the original game you can only do it on the ground. I love opening presents. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Wait, what the hell? Am I playing freaking uh, Quake now? <laughs> Super Ultra Combo. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I must have a lot of freaking comic books. Snow, thank you so much for 200 bits, buddy. Definitely do appreciate it, and welcome to the stream. I've been doing all right, man. Hope 
things have been well on your end. Um, he has all those books. He, just doesn't, he hasn't read a single one. And he admitted in an episode that he wears three pairs of underwear. Man, okay. I must have missed all that. Uh, press B in midair and he will do a bubble bounce attack. Uh, he can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below him or push buttons on the ground. Uh, he may only do the bubble bounce attack one move in midair. Okay. All right. Let's bring that down. Get me more shiny objects. Oh, I just realized I'm already at 137. All right. Press Y, one on the ground. Spongebob will do a bubble bash attack. He can uh, smash tiki's or robots or push buttons are directly above him. When you see this icon, Spongebob can stand on it and do the bubble bash attack to break tiki's directly above him. Okay. Pretty cool. Now, can I do when I'm jumping? Okay, I can only do it when I jump once. So, not double jump, not double jumping. Gotcha. To see how well SpongeBob is doing every level of the game, push. Uh, I believe that's select. When no, actually, that's the pause button. Excuse me. When paused, uh, move the left analog stick to select the level. When select, press A to view his details. When a details view is open, move the left analog stick right or left to get a hint of each golden spatula the SpongeBob knows about. By pressing A when a hint of the gold spatula is selected, he can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. Holy crap, that's very convenient. I'm not sure if that was available in the original game, but that is nice to have. Oh, I didn't do this yet. Okay. Definitely didn't see that before, but alright. Let's just move you over so I can uh, use you. Actually, can I just do this? There you go. I do see a sock up there. Oh, wait. There's a button right here. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a timer puzzle. How do I want to get up here? Is it like this? There you go. I still gotta judge the height. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. Ew. I gotta judge the height this is where I keep all my of the double books. jump still, but I think we're good. You think in the original you can only tax it to spatulas in the level you are in? Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, it's it's a nice little quality of change, a quality of life change. So we're in bikini bottom, and that's really nice. It tells us how many socks are in each world or each level? How many spatulas there are and like what you need to do? Okay. That's pretty damn awesome, I gotta admit. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Nah, we're good now, SpongeBob. I hope to god I collected everything. I have a feeling you're not gonna be able to collect everything first time around. But that's okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, there you go. This is a golden spatula. They're needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. He will, he'll need to collect as many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Alright. Wow, okay, that was something. This is like kind of getting a star. <clears throat> Excuse me, dear God, what happened to my voice there? It's kind of like getting a star in, like, Super Mario. I love, absolutely love how he literally just has eight different pairs of what he has on and four other extra pairs of shoes. Good for him. Uh, I want to say that's everything we have here. So let's exit his house. Ta -da! Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. 
Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Those heartless robots. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Okay, I mean... Oh, we obviously know, you know, Plankton's up to no good. We saw it in the opening thing, but... Alright then. Can I hit him? I sure can. Doesn't seem like anything happens when I do it, though. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss! Me! Alright, Plankton, I guess you're the boss. Are the robots David Blaine inspired? Oh god, who knows. Hmm. It shines. So wait a minute, like, so yeah, we can see here it, is, it says taxi, but we need five golden spatulas to unlock downtown Bikini Bottom. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! Holy, that's an HD hand! Wow. Okay, so it's like, don't go there. So yeah, we're gonna need golden spatulas to kind of get whatever we need. Although, it looks like we can go to Jellyfish Shields. But, let's go ahead and just look around here, see what we got. Dive in this button, press Y. Oh. Oh, I don't think I, can I get up there now? I don't think I can just yet. All right. We'll figure that out later. I I know yes, so press B. Okay, but we can't do that just yet. Uh, this is to a Goo Lagoon. Yeah, that's they know Goo Lagoons are directly behind his house. All right then. And where does this take us? To unlock this area. Simply, that's all it says. I guess technically there's still Bikini Bottom here, but whatever. I'll talk to my friends in a little bit. Holy! Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. It's Bubble Buddy! Oh man, I remember this episode. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting him here. And hey, what's up, Will? Welcome to the stream. Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! You're not sure if Bubble Buddy was in the original or not? <laughs> This is one hell of a nostalgia trip. Yes, it is, Tim, and welcome to the stream, buddy. How are you doing today? Wow, opening presents. Nice. What? Whoa, what is that? What's going on? Okay, those are like those TNT boxes in Crash. These guys keep going away from me. I got an idea. Okay, you would need to sneak up on those tiki's. Those, you just got to touch from the activate. Okay. Nice. Bubble Buddy was in the original. Okay. So I think I got all the stuff I can right now. So let's go ahead and talk to people. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Oh, Nature, I thought I said hi to you at the very beginning when you hosted. I apologize if uh, 
if I forgot, but welcome. So wait, I gotta give him shiny objects for him to give me golden spatulas. Mr. Krabs is kind of crappy like that, but all right, fine. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Three thousand? All right. All right, that's, that's great. Let's hope I, let's, I'm really hoping they come by easy. All right, then. They start costing a lot. He kind of reminds you of Money Bags from Spyro, which is a game that I, I have the Reignited Trilogy, but I just need to play it still. They start costing a lot. That's great. Oh, I can go into Squidward's house. Also one of my favorite characters because when you're younger, everybody, I feel like, hates Squidward. But then when you get older, you start realizing that we are Squidward. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Like, okay, why? That's what I always love about the about the show. Out of nowhere, it'll change the animation for close-up shots. Like, why does he have this in his house? Like, who are these guys? Why does he have a picture of these two in his house? Like, how? I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. How? <laughs> Ego man. Oh wow. Oh no, it's Squilliam, or whatever his name is. Oh, this is great. Uh. Ugh. Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Wow, alright. Wait, he had handsome Squidward? Oh my god, yeah, he does! <laughs> That episode was great. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So, wait, these are his parents? Like, yeah. Wait, who are these two people right here? <laughs> um, I think that's everything. Nice. Hey, Squidward. Didn't I pay you to go away? Uh, well, yeah, you did. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he gets mad if I destroy everything. Well, okay. That happened. So I guess, ooh, I guess I might have to start breaking things. Why do I feel like the people who made this game enjoy all the memes that are, came from the show? I'm sure they did. Oh, wow. And all the buttons, I mean, all the tiki's respawn. Interesting. All right. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. God help you, Patrick. Yeah, wait, why do you have socks? You don't wear any socks. I'm confused. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I'm sorry, did your pants just fall down? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Well, let me let me just wait again. <laughs> oh, Patrick's kind of like my spirit animal. 
Oh, he's my favorite. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh, did they find you? Oh, that's great. You gotta love Patrick. Can I go in your house? I can! Literally living under a rock. It's so living great. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. I wonder if he has that embarrassing photo from the Christmas party here. Aw. Best pals. Oh, well, I destroyed his couch, but I got a sock out of it. All right, cool. But Dragon, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. I saw a little bit of your blindfolded run uh, when you're playing Rhythm Heaven. That was pretty damn awesome. This is for the PC, Dragon, but it is available for the PC, PS4, Switch, I believe, Xbox One. I think I think I named them all. I apologize, if I'm missing something. Oh, wait, there's a button here. Now, wait a minute. That will take me up there. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. All right, now I can get up there. What's up, Binks? Welcome to the stream. Of course, I don't mind if you watch while you work. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Holy Fresh crap. Like four pairs of underwear. And a golden spatula. All right. Yay, I did stuff. Hey, look, it's a flying Dutchman ship over there. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I hope work is going well for you, though. I mean, as long as you're focusing on that and not my terrible, terrible commentary, then it's all good. So, yeah, I believe we did all that we could for the time being. And you know what's nice is, like, I don't need to, like, really pick up the shiny objects. They kind of come to me as, as I break the stuff. So, all right. And Zagor, welcome to the stream as well. Don't worry, buddy, you didn't miss much at all. I mean, I've been playing for, like, maybe 15, 20 minutes or whatever, so you're all good. Uh, let's go to Jellyfish Fields. Ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. God, Squidward, Squidward screams, though. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! Oh my god, the humanity! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Now, I'm not sure if, t if Tom Kenny also does that voice of SpongeBob. I'm fairly certain he does. Tom Kenny is very versatile as a voice actor. Uh, so, yeah. Like, oh, man. How many stuff is here? Let me check. Uh, there's 14 socks. The one of the King Jellyfish Jelly. And a bunch of spatulas. So, yeah. I don't 
think um, something tells me I'm not going to be able to grab everything my first run, which is totally fine. We'll see if I if I end up doing this 100%. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I might spend a lot of time just grabbing all this stuff, so I apologize if I'm going to take my sweet time. Nice to know that the robots go down one hit, though. This is goo. Mm. Wait. Goo? I mean, I under okay, I understand they're underwater, and then they also have water. I guess I never really got that when I was younger. Or even now. But then again, Goo Lagoon was the beach. In underwater. Yeah, okay, it's goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Hmm. So let's not go in the goo. Uh, this is a teleport box. When you have both the teleport boxes in, in an area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. That makes sense. Sure. There you go. <clears throat> now I do see a... Uh oh Well, I missed a chance to grab that. That's okay. I do see a sock there, but I don't see a way to grab it. So, all in due time. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't even see that. Thankfully, it didn't look like it hurt when I touched it, so so be it. <laughs> the music, though, brings back memories, too. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. And that's right, G instead of fishing, they go jellyfishing. It's one of SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite activities in the whole freaking world. I feel like a new sponge. Or maybe I did get hit, because I thought I already had four. Whatever. Nice. Okay. See, it does look like we're able to we're gonna easily collect a lot of shiny objects. So I guess there's no worry about that. <clears throat> and also, we gotta think about a demographic of this game. I mean, I'm... <laughs> it's not meant for people like me, but... Uh, you know, it's mainly gonna be kids or whatever, like, really big fans of the show. Uh, but this is such a nostalgia thing for me, so... It's awesome, and I'm sure, like, you know, it has to be easy enough for people to get through it. Ugh, I can't... Oh, well, it's, it's okay. I missed one? Oh, that's okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be missing a lot of these natures, so... Um, it's okay. It's totally okay if I miss some stuff. Like, I'll do my best my first time through... To grab what I can. I will say though, if you guys see like any socks or any golden spatulas, let me know in case I miss it. But the shiny objects, um, not much of a big deal. It's the socks and golden spatulas I'm afraid I'm gonna miss. If you remember correctly, one of the makers of SpongeBob has degrees in marine biology. Wow, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. Super monster combo. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Okay, I do see a golden spatula there, but something tells me I can't do it here. So I'm gonna die. Shinies respawn. Should we warn you about underwear? Wait, what do you mean warn me about underwear? I mean, it seems like they give me a lot of underwear in case I get hits, but I'm not sure. What do you mean by warning me, though? Okay, before I pay... Okay, I think that's that. Oh, no, no, don't worry. No, underwear is fine. No, no, don't. You don't have to tell me about underwear, because it seems like they're everywhere. It's really only socks and sh golden spatulas. And, well, that's how you fix a bridge. <laughs> Ew, 
it shines. It sure does, SpongeBob. This is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of the area. Nice. Yeah, it does seem like they're they're very lenient with the health pickup. So once again, it's because it's like think about the demographic of the game. Like I'm sure it's it's going to be younger people playing it, and you want them to have fun. I mean, this game's great. Like literally, <laughs> it's fun for all ages so far. And my side. and I'm sure playing it um, multiplayer will be a lot fun too. So. So this is Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick can use Freezy Fruit. All right, so yeah, you do get to play as Patrick. And if I'm not mistaken, you also get to play as Sandy. So yay. Oh, there you go. Ooh, can I make that? Ugh. Yeah, it's. I feel like the jumping, I'm gonna get a little, like. I'm gonna wonder if I cannot make it or not. Nice! And it's not timed either, so I can, I can take my time here. Oh, uh, Joy, it's, it's add quote, one word. And then you want to add whatever quote it is. I mean, it's alright if, if it's a little bit longer. It's alright. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, now let's go back throughout the ground here, because I feel like I missed quite a bit. I love opening presents. Me too. Although, I, you, you know, as you get older, I feel like I like it better when people open the presents I got them. Does that make sense? Like, I hope that it doesn't mean, like, I'm, like, self-centered or something, but I just like you seeing just them happy. The <laughs> I want to... Wow, Spongenator? Okay. Um, but I, I just like seeing the reaction, if that means anything. Sandy's awesome. I love Sandy. And you know what's cool? If it, oh, boy. In case you guys didn't know, the voice actress for Sandy also voices Ashley in Resident Evil 4. Fresh, like so anytime she's like, Leon! All I keep thinking about is Sandy yelling it. So... <clears throat> I'm not the only one. There you go. You absolutely love seeing people open a present you got you, that you care about. Yay! Okay. I thought like maybe it was like some type of narcissistic attitude or something. I'm like, that's not the case, but I don't know what's going on anymore. Can't destroy this? I sure can. Hey Gary, what's taking? Did he really have to have two meows there? Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven. So there's a bungee jump thing. It's so like that is okay. That is what we saw earlier when I got the lucky sock or the or the, the sock, whatever. Meow. No, Gary, I still haven't bungee down and gotten that golden spatula. You think there might be some new lines for SpongeBob, at least? I don't remember the Terminator line again. It's been many years. Yep, that's right, Nature. His snail meowed. It's his pet snail. This is a bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. <laughs> Not sure how safe it is, but okay. To dive downward, press A. To exit a bungee hook, press B. Has, ever, has, any, ugh, has anyone ever bungee jumped before? Oh, no, I haven't. Oof. Does that not hurt? Hey. 
I'm trying to grab the stuff first before I grab the, uh, the spatula. Oh, I grabbed a spatula. Okay, I think I got everything. The hooks! Oh god, Patrick's such an idiot. But I mean, Patrick is one of my favorite characters in the whole series, though. Oh, Spongebob. Uh, I mean, the way he bungees got hurt. Oh yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize he was going through his underwear, but... You know, he has three pairs, or excuse me, four pairs. So he's fine. Uh, yeah, but I've never bungee jumped. I don't know if I ever will have the balls to do it. I'll be way too damn scared. So, you watch most of Sp Sp Spongebob in German? Oh, I heard somebody did mention that I, I could, I, I should listen to the voices in different languages, apparently. Like, a Japanese plankton is something that uh, is a treat. Maybe I'll do that later. Wait, is that a big piece of ham? Oh god, I think I just got the pun. It's a hammer. Is that it? That's so stupid. Hammer. I get it. <laughs> Me too, SpongeBob. I get it too. Oh god, okay. It's so stupid but funny. It's a hammer. <laughs> How old am I? Dude, are you okay? You, <laughs> you, don't, you don't look you look like you don't know where you belong. Oh man. Oh jeez, okay. He does not look that good. At least they go down pretty easily if I get the first drop on them, you know? Look at that, I already have 1,300 shiny objects. I mean, I'm guessing it won't be bad collecting these and paying Mr. Krabs to get the other golden spatulas. So, that's good. Wait, you want me to hit that guy? Alright, hold on really quick. Oh, that was kind of close. Yeah, like nothing happens. <clears throat> it looks like I can jump on the trees, but... I love opening presents. Oh, whoa, it's blue jellyfish. Wait, why are there multiples? I thought the whole... So, if you guys remember that one episode of, uh... Of... SpongeBob, where he got a blue jellyfish and it was like super rare, and then he was using it to make he put jelly on Krabby Patties, and I think Mr. Krabs is exploiting it. I thought there was only one unique blue jellyfish. Now there's multiples. <laughs> I'm taking this too damn seriously. Whoa, what is this? SpongeBob, SpongeBob needs to know the bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Oh. So that might be for a spatula, but so, so it's things like that where it's like, okay, we're not going to be able to do everything all in one go, but we're going to try our best. Hmm. Pharaoh, has anyone ever told you that you've got a really great laugh? Oh, well, thank you. I personally don't think so. I think, I think my voice gets kind of annoying, actually, <laughs> but I definitely do appreciate that joy. I think you can hit every character and they have an animation. Okay, I, I'll try keeping that in mind then. I want to be able to go up there. Or can I not? Hmm. I think I might be just off. Yeah, oddly enough, I can't jump on this tree from the other one. It looks like I'll have clearance, but... Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> it actually stops me. So, I guess I'll get up there another way. Oof. Sorry, the frame rate kind of took a little dip there. 
You have all the good vibes. I try. It's all I can do. I feel like it's a rare trait for someone to actually like the sound of their voice and aren't voice actors. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm overly critical of myself for sure. Like, I feel like sometimes I sound fine. Other times I'm like, oh my god, shut up, you're annoying. But it, it is how I am. It's the TikTok clock, Mario 64, Invisible Walls. Oh my god. Well, you know what? I just, I forgot to mention to you guys. I recently, um, last week, I'm like, screw it. I want to play Mario Odyssey. Because I've had that game for ages and just have never played it. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to play it now. And that was my week last week. <clears throat> I, I nearly 100% of the game. This is goo. Yes, we know that. We can't go in goo. So that was a really, really fun Mario experience. As an artist, you're you're you are your own worst critic. Yeah, well, I can definitely agree with that. So I understand you gotta be confident in your skills, whatever. But I just, I just feel like it's human nature to feel like ah, you know, I could be better. You know. <clears throat> I feel like it's been a while since I've seen a sock or, or a golden spatula. I'm getting a little worried. You like to think you have an okay voice, but after all, after all I've been told, I have the perfect face for radio, so it could work. <laughs> you go for it, Tim. I support you in, in your endeavors. Eh, there's a few shiny objects I missed, but that's okay. Uh, now I can jump on it. Oh, okay. I see. That was the whole reason why. It wouldn't let me up there. Woo! What about... What about this? Yep. Oh. Okay. Hmm. That was weird. I'm not sure what the, um... I'm not sure what the purpose of that rope thing was. Oh, that's the that was the bungee cord? Oh, okay. Was that a different one, though, or was that the same one I went to? Hmm. Oh, well. Do, do, do. I'm just making sure I got everything. There we go. Oh yeah, it's the second teleport box. Now I can get back down there. Uh, let's see. You think you like your voice? It's taken me years and years and years, but you don't hate it. Well, that's good, Joy. There's some inspiration from Mario Sunshine in this game. Later on in this game, there's really cool but frustrating, especially the little me. <laughs> I guess we'll see what that is. I think it's because you're comparing yourself to other people's work, feeling like you'll never measure up. I've been there with my balloon art, and I know still I don't compare to some of them, but I'll keep trying. That's all we can do, Moxie. Do, do, do. That machine huffing and puffing over there is a du Duplicatotron 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful, though, because it goes out with a big bang. So basically, it's going to blow up. Hmm. Can I can I could grind shiny objects here if I really wanted to. I mean, I'm not getting very good value points, so it's like that's a little block. No, yeah, but it's an idea. Okay. Oh. The hammer thing's gonna get old real fast. <laughs> I have a feeling some of the things are gonna get old, you know fairly quickly, but once again, I mean, I think we just gotta live with it. Yeah! I think it's said we're going to jellyfish caves now. Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! 
Now, we all know that this is not going to be... Well, well, if they pour it over to voices, this could be the original voice actor of Mermaid Man, but, you know, Eugene Borgian, I believe, who played him, um, he passed away hmm, a little while ago. And the voice actor for Barnacle Boy, too, so... They're no longer with us, but damn, that they gave us great memories. Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Oh, so he, Eugene wasn't in the original one as well? Okay. I always want, like, look at his body shape. I never understood it. Like, holy crap. And it's like, he, he's a human, right? Why does he live down here? I know it's a cartoon, it's a video game, but sometimes I just question it. <laughs> it's okay. It's a, he can take it. He looks like a burger. He does look like a burger. <laughs> now I'm hungry. This is a slide. When SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. You always thought he was just kind of Aquaman? He, pretty much it is. Is that a young man imitating a senior? It kind of does sound like that, yeah. So this is a slide, huh? Oh, and he's using his tongue. Okay. Oh, you know, it's like that one episode. He was doing this. Oh, that was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Can I do it again now? Oh, there's a box right here. Um. Yeah, he was going down like a sand mountain, and then he like some kids were uh building a sand man, like a snowman. And like, well, we have a magic hat. If we put it on him, we'll come alive. And then SpongeBob hits him, and his mouth is all open, and he's like freaking out the kids. They're like, maybe we put it on wrong. Oh man, ugh. That's a huge ass tongue. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I want to be able to get that sock. There you go. Needs to do laundry. I just, I just had to push up while going there. Extra tongue action. Oh, yeah. Mermaid Man is dummy thick. The clap of his cheeks alert SpongeBob of his presence. <laughs> oh, Mermaid Man. Man. I'm telling you, SpongeBob it had some pretty awesome stuff. It really did. You need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. I'm not sure what's up with this, like, uh, Matrix battle music, but... Okay, I'll take it. I think that's when he was spending time with uh, Sandy before hibernation. See, I was thinking the same thing, but... I can't remember if it was the same episode or not. Feel like a new sponge. You've just met the spongeinator. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Yeah, they're gonna repeat lines throughout the game, but you know what? It'll be all right. These guys out of the way. Or even like the whole pinhead episode. Oh, excuse me, the, the hibernation episode. And they go to Sandy and like, oh my god. Who are you calling pinhead? You 
do do do. Yo, Trey, what's up, man? How you been? Some crazy times to live in, buddy. <laughs> I'm Dirty Dan. And... Oh, come on. There we go. That's everything. I did miss a couple green ones, but I think it's all right. Actually, what? Where did it open? Oh, here we go. Uh, brrr, you hanging in there best as we can, all for 2020. Exactly, man. I'm doing all right. I mean, things could be a lot better too, but you know, I'm rolling the punches. That's all I can do. This isn't some AAA title. We aren't dealing with Nier Automata. I can deal with the flaws as concerned the kind of game it is. Of course, you know, I'm only joking around with, like, you know, the certain stuff here going on. But, you know, it is what it is. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay. Yeah, never get to play as Patrick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, he does, yeah, he does live, a lot of the live action. That's right. I remember, like, my mind was blown when I found out he played Patchy. It's wild seeing this. You remember playing this for GBA? Oh, man, there was a GBA version. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm thankful because a THQ... Or kind enough to let me uh, to let me have a review copy, so I'm like, what's the what's the best time to show it off? And I'm really enjoying this, and I hope you guys are too. So though this is throw fruit, you can pick up throw fruit by push and throw them. Press B to pick up nearby throw fruit, and then press it again, and you can push buttons to destroy tiki's and damage robots. All right, but use it quickly because the throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. Well, that's something. There you go. And it has automatic indicators when to throw it, so that's pretty cool. You just find it uh, unfair how people review this game on some site like it's supposed to be a messiah of gaming. Isn't that review? Isn't that like game reviews in general though? At this point, you can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have other tiki's stacked on top of them. Gotcha. All right. Woo! Up we go! Woo! And there you go. Oh, what? How many of these do I have to carry? Oh, Patrick, come on, buddy. Like, what are you doing here? Gets <laughs> What's up with that walk, man? Who the hell are you trying to impress? There's no one here. Unless you want to... <laughs> Unless you really, really, really want to impress Patrick, because, man, that smile on him, though. Man. Okay. Oh, man, that, that little swagger walk, though, like, it's kind of great. Uh, he can throw fruit up steps, and then climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But you better hurry before it wilts. Got to. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And this is a bus stop. You may switch you may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at a bus stop. Oh. Okay. Uh well no, let's keep playing as uh Patrick because you know we just started playing as him. I think because we also need him, literally, because we need to throw that fruit onto the button. It's light puzzle solving! Yay! Oh, I see what's going to happen here. Uh, this is a special Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick uh, pick up a throw fruit, stand on the pink starfish side, and throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will then be flung across the other side of the lake. It does look really nice, man. It's, uh, I know a lot of flack the game got originally was the oversaturation, but honestly, when you start playing it, it's not bad at all. Like, I don't, like, I don't really even notice it. I think it blends in very nicely. 
Um, and I'm playing it on the PC. So, and I, I, um, I'm, I'm playing at 1080, but this game should not give anybody any trouble to play in higher resolution. Um, there's really not much in terms of graphical options. Let me, sh let me see here. Yeah, literally just windowed mode, resolution, V-Sync. Um, I always have it disabled because, not to brag, but I, I have my G-Sync monitor, so... Uh, I spoiled myself like last year. I, I actually, I don't know when I got this. Maybe two years ago? Either way, I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not many options, but <laughs> it's all good. Not to brag. Yeah, I mean, but it's like, I brag a little. So this is a Thunder Tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm. After a few seconds, it will go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. All right, now we, we understand that. Ooh, I could pick it up, though. Interesting. Once again, what the hell are you doing here? Just random, random as hell. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Flawed if you got it, man. That's it. Yeah, exactly, dude. You picked up a 4K HDR TV this year and it's been a joy to play games on? Dude, isn't it? Oh, wait, I did it wrong. That's okay. Um, yeah, I picked up my TV, oh man, maybe like a year or two ago. It's nice too, LG. I don't, I don't really get to use HDR much on it. Um, I think it's because of the, the capture device, like, doesn't allow it? It's weird, but I can't use HDR stuff Subscription. on uh, gaming, that's all right. Hey, Link, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Derpy. I definitely do appreciate it, that man. Welcome to the stream, too. Yep, you can throw a thunder, Tiki, but uh, I jacked it up because that's my life. Hey, you barnacle head. Watch where you're going. The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. I am going to leave that one alone. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to design a knockoff wallet. Oh, thank you. And that was Patrick thanking you, Joy, for gifting two subs. Subscription to, to nature and Delta Lucario. Thank you all so much for all the love and support today, guys. I really do really appreciate it. Man, um <laughs> No, I really I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so 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 much. You guys know you never need to do things like that for me. But it's always appreciated Ooh, when you guys do. Everyone. If you jump up in the air and press B, Patrick will slam down to the ground, damaging tiki's or pressing buttons below him. All right. His pants fell down. Oof. Hey, my back feels better. I wonder what Subscription. this does. What even are you doing, Link? What's going on? What's going on with this sub train? This gift sub train. Subscription. Link with the five subs. To Super Twin, to Justin, to Zagor, to Svitten, to Ichigo. Thank you all so much. You guys are gonna make me cry. Stop it, damn it. Subscription. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are ridiculous, but thank you so, so damn much. You guys know you don't need to do this. Subscription. Oh man, this is the first time I had this thing's been going off like crazy. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for all this. Subscription. Oh man. 
I don't know what to say. It's acting me up for your thing and helping off. All right, Jaden. Um, sorry, it's acting me up. Not sure what's going on, but hopefully, hopefully it's not doing the same for others out there. Thank you so much for coming out, buddy. Uh, do I just simply go up here? Oh. That's much better. I remember you watched the stream and someone gifted like 50 or more people. Oh, I think it was, I think I was watching yesterday. I think, yeah, wait, I think I was watching the stream yesterday where they dropped 50 subs. I think it was for um, Retro Gaijin uh, because, I mean, I'm not going to get into this here, but there's a lot of things been happening in the gaming industry recently and a lot of people left certain things because of, you know, integrity. And it also kind of, it made financial stuff a little bit different, difficult for a lot of people. So, um, some guy gifted 50 subs to somebody yesterday. It was insane. No, no, no. I, I understand what you're talking about, nature, but still. I'm giving my thing here. But once again, thank you all so much for love and support. I really do appreciate it. You guys are reasons why I continue doing what I do. Simple as that. Uh, yeah, well, that's part of it, Joy, but it was more so what happened over the weekend. Um, once again, I don't really want to get into it because it's a really sensitive topic, but yeah. So you can throw a throw fruit and then pick it up and throw it again before it wilts. Okay. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Nice. Can I... Okay. Oh! Nope, okay. That Only is a whistle. Oh, was I supposed to use SpongeBob here? Whatever. Oh, and I can destroy those things, I guess, when they're not super hot. <laughs> guess that makes sense, now, doesn't it? Alright, Trey, thank you so much for coming out, buddy. I do gotta try coming out to one of your streams. I'm, I'm sick and tired of always being busy, but... I will try my best, buddy. Thank you so much for coming out. You have a great day, dude. There you go. Oh, crap. I thought I had him. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. What's well, not? Think about you wearing his underwear. You're underwater, why is it hot? <sighs> yeah, oh, you're, you're right, Link. You know, but it's also... It's also not... It, ow. It's best not to think about it, because you're going to go crazy. It's, it's kind of like, why is there water underwater? But it's actually goo, it's not water. So it's like, oh. Okay. Okay, I'm surprised I did that right. Oh yeah, there are underwater volcanoes. That's how well isn't that how mountains form? Is like there's underwater volcanoes and they form it? Could be wrong there. See, even I forget my uh nature. Eh. Oh what? That was weird. Huh. That didn't work. Oops. And I broke it. So the way to throw through will activate pressure plates. You can also jump up and throw fruit to get up to higher places. You can also stack fruit as well as throwing a throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. Where's exhibit when you need them? Hey, dog, I heard you like throw fruits. I put some throw fruit on that throw fruit. I can't talk. But it also allows them to get up to higher places. All right. Hey, look, I have 3,000. Yeah, I have 3,000 shiny objects. I think I can go ahead and uh, buy the spatula. From Mr. Krabs. Oh, I can pick up the ledge, or I can kind of climb up the ledge. And thank God I turned this around. Is this is mine. Oh, now I gotta do it all over again. Uh. Do, 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 do. 
Why is this music a little catchy? I don't, I don't understand. It might be the nostalgia glasses. There you go. A box opened up. Do I ever want to go back? Oh, wait, no. We got sliding to do. Nice. Wooden presents. That's right, Patrick. Oh, nope. Hmm. I don't really think I missed anything there. I'm gonna go back one more time. Like, I don't think I missed anything important, I should say. Like, I didn't see any golden spatulas or socks. You know, I, I have underwear I can blow up, so let me just do this. There. That's much better. How many of these do I have to carry? Actually, not, not underwear to blow up. I, c I could afford getting hit because there's underwear right there. So that's fine. These random characters, though, I just will never understand them being here. So this is Freezy Fruit. He can pick up the fruit and throw it. It will temporarily freeze goo. You can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Oh, there's a sock right there. Awesome. Look how he looks when he's oh, running. Oh, 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 oh. That's more like, uh, <laughs> that's not more like Ed from Ed and Eddie. That's a show I miss. <laughs> he's Naruto running. Uh, yeah, underwear to blow up, that's a whole different thing. That's you eating Taco Bell. If Patrick belly flops near, be near robots, he can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. Oh, okay. Ow! I wonder if you can throw stunned enemies now. <laughs> you gotta love Patrick. Your friend Poppy had the stream in the background. I'm so glad I recommended a specific stream because this is Maximum Pharaoh. I definitely do appreciate it, Joy. Uh, you can also use throw fruit to defeat robots. Okay. I mean, holy crap, they weren't lying. Oof. Okay. Oof. So I can stun them. Those ones, at least. Uh, can I throw them, though? Yeah, it says right there. You can pick up enemies that have been stunned and throw them at other robots, or, in this case, a button. So... Much there you go. Oh my god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It even says ham on a hammer. That's Isn't it great? It looks like ham. It says ham. It's a hammer. It's awesome. It's fun all around. All right. And go to Jellyfish Lakes. Ahoy there. Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh, boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. I'd imagine it really, really hurt if you got stung in your poop deck. Um... I kind of don't want to think about it too much. Now, who the hell painted that? And why? What does? What did the squirrel do? Oh, is that supposed to be, is that supposed to be Sandy? Wow. 
Uh, if only now it's all that's missing is some Romanian dogs barking ham ham. Oh, is that is that how? Is that how? What is that word that it's like? Like you you say the word bark. It, it, it's not an automatopoeia, is it? Like what, what is that word? This is like how a sound sounds like. Is ham ham? Is that what it is in Romanian? It it is amanamapia, whatever it's called. I had the idea, I just can't say it. So it, it is that, okay. Uh, let's see. Better than being stung in a poop deck. Ugh. You actually been stung by jellyfish before? It's not fun, it feels like hot iron. Oof. Yeah, that's what frightens me about open water. Well, that and I can't swim, which really sucks. I gotta change that. Uh, on a uh, ma uh, pia. Thank you, nature. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you, Joy. Whoa, wait. Is that Mrs. Puff? It is. It's Mrs. Puff. She puts up through so much of SpongeBob's crap. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show enough, Mrs. Puff. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, why, why do you say show enough? I get it, because it rhymes with Mrs. Puff, but... So shiny. Uh. Oh, I should have threw that uh, at those. That's okay. I could change the SpongeBob right here, which I may do, actually. But hold on. So wait a minute. So, she's saying that they threw the golden spatula in the lake? Am I even able to do this right now? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to destroy those. We'll see. You're scared of the depth of the sea, and I'm constantly worried that a shark is going to come and eat me. Well, I guess statistically it's fine, because I guess they don't really eat as many humans as you think. But it's still scary to think about, though. I, hope I'm, I really hope I'm doing this right. Uh. All right. Oh, that is what I had to do. Awesome. Why did I do that? Nice. Oh, he fell. It's okay. It's okay, Patrick. Uh, oh, you know what? That duplicotron or duplicotron thing went away, too. So that's good. Um, hmm. All right. Let's switch back to SpongeBob now. Oh, we got to talk to Mrs. Puff, though. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Like I said, Mrs. Puff went through so much of SpongeBob's crap. I mean, I... 
understand why she may not really like him at all. This is a shh tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. So I can use the left analog stick gently or push the left trigger, which uh, we did earlier. Okay. And Patrick can throw things at it from a distance. All right. Just my size. Interesting. Wait a minute. So it's like as soon as I'm right here, I can... It's interesting, like, I can kind of move around a little freely when I snuck up close to them. Oh, this might be a chain reaction. That was a little scary. Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys like tartar sauce? Like, I I mean, I don't even like, I don't like fish. Um, Every time I tried it, it just wasn't for me. And then one time I tried catfish, I almost died. I mean, that was a, that was the hard way of, of knowing that I was allergic to it. Okay, I shouldn't say I almost died. I felt like I was gonna die. Um, so, <laughs> that was something. You never tried it, but you do love fish, though. I mean, I want to enjoy fish, but I just, I can't do it. I like the little, ooh. I like the little animation he has when he's running away from the robots. Uh, how would I describe tartar sauce to nature or to sign? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea how to describe it. All I know is that salsa apparently goes with fish very well. Oh, you're back. You had a pet rose and get her some food. So glad you found her the other day. Oh, yeah, Justin, I read that, man. I'm glad that she's all I'm glad she's all right. Revo, thank you so much for the sub. I definitely appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. All the love and support today, ladies and gentlemen. I love you guys. Rock so much. Love you all so much. SpongeBob should come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. All right, so we can't do that just yet. But I'm sure that'll give us a uh, spatula or something when I destroy those. Uh, it's a cold sauce typically eaten with fish because this thing of mayonnaise mixed with chopped pickles, capers, etc. Yep, that nah, doesn't sound that great. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like mayo. Well, not a lot of it, but I can, I can tolerate mayo. Um, not horseradish though. And chopped pickles, I'm not a fan of pickles anymore. I don't know why. Mixed ranch with horseradish, and that's kind of tartar sauce. Ugh, can't do horseradish. There's another box. Can't go that way. That's all right. There you go. Oh. Maybe I should have done that first. So far, those enemies seem the most dangerous because you need to hit them twice. Uh, this is a stone tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis, though. All right. So I do that. There you go. Pretty cool. Yeah, I never had caviar, uh, caviar either. I mean, I heard it's like, oh, it's fancy, but just never tried it. Don't think I ever will. I love opening presents. Oh, jeez. Like a spring breeze. 
Uh, wait, do I want to go this way? I see a sock up there. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. I mean, there's a purple one. I just don't think... I don't know if it's worth it. Uh... Yeah. Ooh. Can I... I don't think I can do this just yet. I'll come back. Okay, that wasn't cool. Mm. Oh, Patrick needs to throw these. Can I switch to him, or... I come back later. I, if it's only for shiny stuff, I guess it doesn't matter. These guys are dropping my frames a little bit. In the game, I should say. Not not the stream, per se, but it's making the game a little, like, oof. Wait. Your tool, your red sinuses is anuses? What are we, what are we talking about anuses, man? Whatever... Oh, it clears out your sinuses like dynamite. Oh, you you read it like clears out your anuses like dy dynamite. Just met the sponginator. Well, that oof, ouch, you know. <laughs> oh, there is a super duplo code. Tron, no, no, hit me, no, hit me. There you go. Get these guys out of the way. Now, I actually did see another sock. Wait. Crap. Where the hell is that sock? I, I saw it here. I think it was different from the one I had before, too. I saw earlier. Yeah, here it is. It looks like I'm actually going to be going in there anyway, so that's fine. Um... Taco Bell does that? What, you mean, like, destroys your anus? Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't had it in ages, so I don't plan on it. All right, Joy, you enjoy your dinner. All right, let's get this sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Now I can jump on this to get back up here. Okay, that's nice. And actually, I just realized we have more than 10 socks, so we can actually go back to Patrick in Bikini Bottom, and he'll give us the golden spatula. Uh, I gotta remember. Oh! Oh, no. No, you don't. Oh, oh, the residual tartar sauce. Yeah. Don't like that, robot. I feel like a new sponge. There's another freezy fruit. Is this where sock is at? Yes, it is. I think after I'm done with this level, I'll go ahead and call, uh, take a break, because we've been going for like an hour and a half or so. I think we're almost done. Uh, well, this looks precarious. Okay, there's a golden spatula up there. Actually, this could be a good vantage point to see if we can see any socks or whatever. But literally all I see is that golden spatula. I see a couple corks. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang it. I don't think I'm that far off, but still. That's weird. Um. 
I guess because of jumping mechanics and whatever, like it wasn't really uh couldn't really jump that great there. Yeah, thank god there's no fall damage, definitely. That would not have been fun. Actually, I was thankful for that when I was playing Odyssey last week because, man, there were some stupid jumps in there and, oh. Oh, no, I, t I did the same BS again. I, I got worried because, like, my, my jump height was a little altered there. And I, I was too scared to keep pushing forward. Okay. You gotta remember. Keep going. Wait a minute, hold on. I got a private number that I called. Left me a voicemail? Well, that's weird. Why the hell was it private? Well, I'll check that during the break. Oh. But, I mean, thank God I'm, like, I'm not losing, like, hours of progress. I'm like... Maybe lost a few minutes, but I hope you guys can forgive me. Is it bad your mind went to Assassin's Creed Odyssey inside Mario Odyssey? No, not at all. I actually forgot about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I want to play that next, because I, I... But I think I put so much time into Origins not too long ago, and I heard that Odyssey was even longer than that. So it's like, oh man... Because at any time I play an Assassin's Creed game, I have to go 100%. And that's what takes forever and a half. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, I do all the side quests. Absolutely. Because in my eye, like, what's the point of not doing it? Presents. Okay, wait. Am I supposed to go there? Or why can't I just do this? Wait, mm, wait a minute. Five minutes might as well be five hours in our instant gratification culture, Pharaoh. Gonna have to watch another stream. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people think like that, man. I know you're doing it jokingly, but I know there's people like that. It's like, oh, no, this guy sucks. And then flip over to another thing, which is understandable. I get it. <laughs> but, eh, it is how it is. So we could switch the Patrick, but SpongeBob can jump wall up can jump up walls when the symbol appears. Okay. So it does a little wall jump thing. Nice. Uh, you have both Odyssey and Origins, but you like Origin much better because of the ancient Egypt stuff. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> I mean, I am inclined to enjoy it because I'm Egyptian, so yeah. <laughs> I but it it was an awesome Assassin's Creed, and I'm not, that's not bias. It's modern-day channel scrolling, which I totally understand. Why is he still running around scared? Did I never... I don't think I killed the other one. Yeah, he's down there. That's whatever. Okay. Spork Mountain. I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. All right. Bubble, bu Bubble Buddy. Bu what's his name? Bubble Buddy for the win. Oh. Is he buzzing the music? I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? 
don't say he's big while he's in the shower. This doesn't sound right. It's a boss fight against the king of jellyfish. Whoa. All right. I'm assuming these boss fights are not going to be hard at all. But I still want to be careful. Okay, he's pooping out other jellyfish. That's that's fine. Why? Well, that's okay. He can do that. Wait. Do male jellyfish give birth to jelly other jellyfish like seahorses do? Or, I mean, like, male seahorses give birth to seahorses. But do jellyfish, male jellyfish, give birth? No? Okay. Whoa, that's really quick. There you go. Hey, wait, why is your curtains bottles of peanut butter? Why are you so nice now? Okay. Yay! Well, we got the uh, King Jellyfish Butter. Or, excuse me, King Jellyfish Jelly. And I saw a box right here. Why a box? Uh, oh, peanut butter and jelly. Oh, oh, that's so... Oh, wow. Wait. I didn't realize that. Oh, it's another sliding thing, huh? All right, here we go. Whoa, wait. Yeah, there, that was a that was a purple one up there. I love opening presents. Oh, I saw a spatula over there on the right, but maybe I'm gonna go there. Why does it look like I can go from the other side? Oh, wait, I gotta hold up. Ugh. Nice. It's so crazy. They got they took away Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam's guns for the new Looney Tunes. They did? I mean... Okay, I get why they did, but yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I can take the hits. It's okay. They're not doing guns. I mean, once again, I understand why they're doing it. There you go. It looked like there was like another path to take. But I don't know. Oh, it's Larry the Lobster. Fun fact. The same voice actor for Plankton and uh, the fish reporter. The same for Larry. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. It's just a random appearance by Larry. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh, Shadow Knight, welcome to the stream, by the way. Hope you're having a good day so far. Oh, it's like I thought it was like a hole I gotta go into. All right. Let's go ahead and give this the. You, Squidward. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Don't close your eyes when you when you uh when you hear that. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? Yeah, that sounds good. 
All right. Well, I... I think that's all... Hmm. Hold on really quick. So, okay, here's a cool thing. We got all the... The golden spatulas for this level. That's awesome. There are... Wow. Six socks that I missed? And I see one right there. The problem is, like, you gotta have Squidward... Excuse me, Patrick... And it's like, I don't know how the bus stop is that in this level to do all that. But even then, like, I don't know how the other... F how many more did I miss? Like, six? So, you know what? I think the for my sanity, what I'm gonna do is just do my best to do a thorough run my first time. And then I'll come back later uh, and do whatever and it needs to be done. This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Oh, and it is right. Remember to the, the bubble bowl and the cruise missile move. So, yeah, it's better to come back here later. Like, I'll do as thorough as I can my first time around. And then I'll come back later, eventually. Alright. Well, that was pretty damn cool, I gotta say. And, um... It shines. It does, uh, SpongeBob. You know, let's go ahead and get the thing from Mr. Krabs. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Sure, three thousand. That's quality craftsmanship. That is. Come again. That is quite a bit there. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think Whoa. I've got bilge water on the? Six thousand now. Yeah, those. Say, yep, those are definitely going to get more expensive. Patrick, how about you though? I have ten socks. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Oh, for God's sakes, Patrick. I love you. Did you find my lost? Not yet. Oh. So, um... Oh, man, that's right. Oh, I gotta... My health sucks. Uh, that's okay. Um, so it does actually tell you how many golden spatulas they each have. Woof. Okay, so like, there's 10, 20, th 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80? I'm not sure if that's how that works, but there's socks I gotta return to him. And then Mr. Krabs. Oh, man. If he keeps, uh, yeah, this might keep increasing by 3,000 each time. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24,000. Man. Uh, we'll see. I mean, this game seems lenient on the shiny objects anyway, so... It doesn't seem like such a big problem. Now, I do have a chance to go to Goo Lagoon now, because I do have 13 golden spatulas. But I feel like I should go in order, in a sense. And the game makes it seem like... I think it's a downtown bikini bottom. Let me see here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think that'll be the best place to go next. However, we're going to go ahead and take our first break of the day. And we'll come back uh, in about three or five minutes or so and continue with this awesome game. So, thank you all so much once again for all the love and support. Just uh, hang tight and I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> 